Welcome to our centennial. As the first speaker, let me be the first to say happy birthday. The centennial has been a complete celebration of the big. What if the people who, uh, you know, that 1912 class watched this? I don't think they could have imagined anything like this. I felt really special to be able to witness this as a student while I'm here. And this is the first reunion I've been to, actually, and, and it's absolutely worth it. And now celebrating their golden reunion and representing the class of 1962, present the class's gift to the university. A record-breaking $6,780,000 participation. Rice gave us so much, and we all could not have succeeded without what Rice gave us. This is the uniform I started in when I was a freshman. They used these from 68 through spring of 76. Great to be able to see people, you know, who wear the rice ring and say, hey, I'm a rice grad too. I'm very proud of my school. It's even better than I was admitted. I think they've done such a great job of just making so many different different events available and different ways of celebrating the university. And I extend my sincere congratulations to the trustees, the faculty, students, and alumni on your first great century. I love my city, but, but part of what I love is Rice University. I would not be the person I am without Rice University. One, two, three. Bravo! Bravo! We propose to continue to push the boundaries of what is possible for the next hundred years. We call this event the Night of the Century. I've been wanting to plan this since I learned that it would happen, I think, two or three years ago. Well, today we have the Centennial Picnic. And what Rice did was they brought in a bunch of different food trucks from Houston. Their eyes set not only on the future with great expectation, but looking back at the past of our founding with great admiration. Rice's leaders have shot for the moon and landed. Thank you for taking all of us along with you. As we enter our second century, and face the opportunities ahead, we must be bold. We must be entrepreneurial. We must be collaborative. We must be fast and slow. We must be international and yet distinctively American. We must be the great research university that preserved its dedication to its students. We must be Rice. Time to start the second hundred. Build on what we've got. As much as this talk about the past, there's only been a lot of talk about the future. Who knows what's going to happen at the 200th?